All right, guys, welcome back to UKSG Spring 2018. First of all, I am legally forced to say that the third gen is the best gen. <laughs> gen. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm also allowed to say that we were behind of schedule a few, like an hour ago, now we are ahead of schedule. <sighs> it's such a wonderful thing. It, 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 it's a roller coaster, it's, it, it's a miracle, it's a magic. And because of that, we're gonna do even more Pokemon games. We're gonna have Pokemon Blue, any percent no safe corruption. Then we're gonna start with the Pokemon Trifecta. Containing Pokemon Red, Pokemon Gold, and Pokemon Sapphire. And finishing the Pokemon block with Pokemon Moon. So get your Pokeballs ready because <laughs> we're gonna. Catch a lot of yeah, we're gonna, a lot of we're gonna catch the frames, and those guys will be the very best. That 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 was the moment where you were supposed to say like no one ever was but yeah. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was so close. That was unbelievably close. Well held, like. Well held. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I won. Blame okay, Andy. technical technical <laughs> issues. <laughs> The mic has fallen over. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> All right, Indy, let's not cry over <laughs> spilled microphones. Oh, I, I Can somebody just fix it? <laughs> no use crying over spilled microphones. <laughs> All right, so let's just... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So, um, <laughs> just to clarify, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just to clarify one thing, this is exactly the reason why I am sorry that this is so close. <laughs> uh, yes, as a matter of fact, we can. We can. Just don't hit us again, please. Uh, I will do my best. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Alright, so here we go. Okay, let's just have my crotch over there. <laughs> yeah, that is yes, very it is. <laughs> um, the one thing about time, uh, he's going to be doing some inputs and things, but time isn't until he clicks new game. Is that okay with you, or do you want me to say time? So what he's doing at the moment is he's manipulating his trainer ID, the unique ID that every Pokemon run has at the start. And with a specific set of inputs throughout the opening sequence before he starts a new game, we can get a specific trainer ID, which we'll use for a glitch later on. So time is going to be now. Not no, now, not no. now. <laughs> Sorry, false alarm, <laughs> false alarm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for this bit, um, because he hasn't been able to set his options, he has to hold B and mash A to get the fastest text. Uh, after that, he's going to uh, he's going to enter himself an interesting name. Uh, we're going to use this to for a glitch later on. To, to perform some arbitrary code execution. So, yeah, the name has to be quite strange because we're going to be jumping to a certain portion of the code that we're not supposed to be ever able to do. Makes the run very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, anyone who's seen a no save corruption run before, um, I'll run it myself with BSG Annual, this is completely different. Like, the only thing that is the same is, is like, the first, like, two minutes, three minutes, like, until, basically, until you get the the Pokedex. 
Um, and yeah. I think <laughs> in most categories you have to do the sort and section yeah. the same as... Yeah. Every, every Gen 1 run begins with this sort of rite of, pas rite of passage where you sort of... Get pick, a million encounters. Yeah, pick your starter, fight the rival, go and get the Pokedex. It's sort of, yeah. The fun starts to happen after we, uh, after we finish that. So he's going to be picking... Uh, I'll not spoil what he's going to pick, actually. Yeah, because there's two different ways you can do it. Yeah, so there's two different routes we can actually use for the game now. We can use either Bulbasaur or we can use Charizard. Theoretically, on paper, Bulbasaur is faster, but the the sort of usually you would pick Charmander because it's sort of on average it's quicker, but Bulbasaur is the best overall in terms of like Bulbasaur is the, the best case scenario. I think so. But av like average best is, is Charmander, so we're going for the hardcore strats. We're going for Bulbasaur. Well, when I learned one five one, uh, you pick Bulbasaur and that. So I thought, well, it's a glitch category, so <laughs> growl first turn. Stick with what we know. Yeah, we want to we want to avoid growls um, because the <laughs> 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 the, the two scenarios for this fight that are that are good for us are either we win the fight or we lose the fight. Now, it doesn't matter which one happens as long as it happens quickly. And growl makes neither of those happen quickly because growl lowers your attack, so we, we do less damage to Charmander. Um, but if we want to die, obviously we want him to use tackle, and yeah. no. we're getting a lot of growls. <laughs> yeah, this is. Every run, I think it's been today. So the whole reason that Bulbasaur is usually, like, in, in the best case scenario, quicker than Charmander is because it dies the quickest. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Charmander can also die quite quickly, but not as quickly as Bulbasaur. But there we go. I guess so. We're winning. so, <laughs> so winning, it, winning is actually worse. <laughs> <laughs> than losing because winning gets you to level six, you go through a lot of this rigmarole of the like, you know, well done, you won, but it takes longer than losing. That's the only reason. And we don't need XP at all because the only fights in the game are gonna be done by a Pokemon that we're gonna catch after the Pokedex. And we're gonna manip for. Yeah, Hopefully. we'll get to RNG manipulation. <laughs> it's good fun. Uh, the whole the whole thing with this, with Route 1, um, we just wanna get up it without encounters. The world record in this game is Usually in this category is usually going to have zero encounters in the uh, in this part of the game because we don't need to kill anything. So you know everything we run from. So yeah, um, pretty pretty good, pretty pretty standard. The average is like sort of you know one and a half each way. Like on average, you get three encounters. You know you can see like. I've seen like eight. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, you, you get you getting on. It's it's a it's a ten percent chance on each tile to get an encounter. Um, so you know, every every single tile you step on is a separate ten percent chance. That lies. Yeah. <laughs> it feels more like ninety percent. Yeah. Quite often, um, after you get an encounter, uh, you have a three three steps of uh, encounter immunity. So. Sort of technically, you could get an encounter every three steps. No, man, one. <laughs> it does feel like that sometimes. <coughs> so yeah, we just get through this, and it's all good. Oh, I think it means with the level of I have at least two packs. So if I don't get the other one, it'll be all right. Yeah, so I guess we should probably start talking about RNG manipulation. I'm gonna get up there eventually. <laughs> The way it's going, I might get another like five encounters. Yeah. So, so the the sort of crux of this run is the fact that we can we can manipulate the encounters that we get. Not on Route One, unfortunately. Uh, well, we could, but it's just on average not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to hard reset the game when we get to the point when we get up to five Pokeballs. We're going to hard reset the game, and when the game hard resets, it. Um, sets the, the RNG value, the initial seed value, to a, a value that we know, you know, a value that we can expect. And if we perform inputs frame perfectly throughout the intro sequence and then up until the event that we want to make happen, you know, we, we, we can we can we can make things happen. So in this case we want to get a Spiro with uh, perfect stats. Spiro is gonna basically take us through the remainder. the remainder of the game, the remainder of the fights. Um, it's just better than Bulbasaur, better than Charmander for, for those fights. 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna go buy Pokeballs and then perform an RNG manipulation for, for Spearow. <laughs> and I will play it safe regardless of what I ever do. Yeah. This I don't normally get, I do normally get the YOLO, but I prefer not. Yeah, so Milk's, Milk's mentioning something called a YOLO ball. Um, it's not really YOLO in the, in the normal sense. But the, the whole point of that is because we're, we're, we're frame perfectly inputting things, we, we can know whether a Pokeball that we throw will catch or not. And if we if we hit those inputs, it's, it's like a four frame window. If we, if we hit that four frame window, we can actually throw a Pokeball perfectly and, and catch it without dealing any damage, you know, throwing balls and having to break out. So hopefully it's not going to break out, but that's... Hopefully we get the <laughs> right first. execution. <laughs> so yeah, you see in the frame perfect inputs now. They're not actually frame perfect. We buffer them, but it's it's sort of you know like 16 frame windows ish. We got the encounter. So you saw how we sort of moved around and went all over. Ah, That's part of it. Missed it. So we missed the yellow ball, unfortunately. Um, that text box there, that that sort of Spiro appeared. Like if you clear that within the window. <laughs> 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 I think that's just my look. So that was that was just a genuine YOLO ball. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So you named Spiro three characters there. Um, yeah, I don't know why you do it either. It's for a trick that you don't do. <laughs> you know the um, Thundershot create manip? Oh. It's for that. Right. So in the if if you were to do a, a one of the harder manipulations for this category, um, We've sort of jumped a step. It's 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 sort of the end of the next manipulation <laughs> that, that that would be used for. But we'll get to that when it when it makes more sense. So we're gonna heal here. Um because we're we're, we're gonna be warping back here. You warp back to the last Pokemon Center that you healed at. And rather than go back to see, you know, mom, hi mom. Um hi mom. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna warp back there, we're gonna warp back to uh, Viridian. Bad. Yeah. So yeah, pick up the potion for safety. Yeah, just yeah. playing it safe. Yeah, the, like world record runs would, would just basically power through and if it dies, it dies. It's such a short category. But um, yeah, we want to play it safe for a marathon. We have uh, somebody saying, Castle Walsh. <laughs> 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 is this the non-forest speaker manip? Yes, it is the non-forest. Uh, well, it's the it's the it's the in forest speaker manip. Yeah, it's um, it's the Bulbasaur version. I don't know the difference because I've, uh, I don't know. It's a grass. So the the, the grass tiles are pretty funny here. Um, you'll notice they've got like a flower on them. Uh, in the Japanese version of the game, that flower um, was on a different side, and the the, the tile that the flower is on, like the, the is is what is used to determine whether it's an encounter tile or not. So because the, t the, the flower changed position, um, the, the, the tile is no longer recognized as an encounter tile, so we just can't get encounters on some tiles. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty pretty easy to get through Viridian without an encounter. Unless um, you do what I do and miss tiles. Or you, or you get really unlucky. <laughs> so this is the second, third manipulation of the run. Oh, no. One too high. <laughs> They're pretty tricky, you've got to sort of like, all the trees look the same. Yeah. So, uh, like coming down to save, I count the trees on the left hand side. Yeah. But <laughs> for moving down, I just don't for some reason. I really should. I messed this up on my TV too. Yeah. <laughs> that was better. So, we're manipulating an encounter here on a specific tile. That one. Um, so, you'll see it's a Pikachu. And hopefully, it's going to Thundershock. Hopefully, it's going to Thundershock. <laughs> so we've got Growl again. You know, I've tried to do the crit manip. Yeah. It never ever works. So the, the, instead. the three A's are for the crit manip, so he, it will make him use a Thundershock as he's just done, and it will make Crits. a crit. <laughs> Unfortunately not. So the whole reason we need this encounter on this particular tile is for a glitch called Trainerfly. In this case, Deathfly. Oh, so you'll see here. Is that type? <laughs> you'll see here we get the uh, exclamation point as if the trainer's seen us. Now, that's basically stored the um, the fight in the in the, that encounter. 
So what we're going to do now in that in that area, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make our way back up to that area. And that encounter that was stored, or that sort of fight that was stored, is going to trigger immediately. All right? Because the game still thinks we're in a fight. We died while we were basically like... In trainer vision. Yeah, in the trainer's vision. So there's the, the text that he would have given us. It's going to start immediately. And we go into the fight? We go into the first of many fights. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is what is affectionately known as the Elite Four of books. So these are actually the final fights in the game. Um, this would technically be, be Lorelei. The Lorelei Weedle. The Lorelei <laughs> <laughs> um, Because we fight four bugs to end the game. And Spiro is our best chance for winning those. Yeah, well, with Peck being a flying titan, it's super effective. So yeah. it just makes life a lot easier. So they're, they're a lot higher level than us to start with. So they're quite scary fights. That's why I picked up the portion earlier. So um, because of doing the trainer fly, the game doesn't like it and just throws you into the exact same encounter again. Yeah, it's it's a little weird. It's trying to figure out what it should do, <laughs> and it's it's not doing the right thing. Um, it gets even worse than this. Yeah. So these fights, I like to think, are pretty all right. I don't think I've ever died to these. You're getting good fights. It's nice. Something. You can Always get happens. you can get poisoned by the weedles, which poison's really slow because it says like every single time like hurt by poison. And as you there, we'll go into another encounter, but we've just won an encounter, so the game just lags out. Yeah, like those the, these steps aren't normal, as you can see. Come on, let us save. There yeah. it is. Zero error. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna save on this tile because we've got a we've got a 25% chance that the glitch we're about to do won't work. Oh, <laughs> there it is. That's not even the one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to select uh, a. It pulls for an input every 16 frames. Yeah, everything just slows right down. And if you don't hit on that window, you don't get it. So. So I just mash as quickly as possible and hope for the best. That was a nice. Nice. Point. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I guess that was I guess that was Agatha. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because this is this would be Lance and Champ. <laughs> yeah, the Lance, the Lance and Champ caterpillar. Oh, right sweet crit, well. sweet crit. Let's see if it works. This is beautiful. Okay, so this is the twenty-five percent chance to fail. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice, yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is where we would normally go after the Champ fight. <laughs> this is the Hall of Fame. Yeah. So. I messed this up earlier. I don't know how. I had the right ID, but I must have got something wrong in the trainer name, and I walked with Fuchsia instead, which I don't think I'd do very well against Koga. No, so. no. <laughs> okay, right. so in game time at 12. Nice. Yeah, so time's coming up. So that name that we saw before was, it was pretty much for this. Um, yeah, it was just for the this time. 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 Point, point. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, man, I think that's my first ever recorded run as well, so... <laughs> <laughs> Everything's just been <laughs> offline. <laughs> so yeah, it's the official PB. Class, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, so that was, that was arbitrary code execution. We executed the, the yeah. code takes the Hall of Fame in Virginia Forest. And that just makes life a lot easier compared to where you save corruption, you just save and shut the game off basically error the game allow you to swap items and pokemon around that aren't there and walk to the whole thing and save corruption nice <laughs> but no. Plus. Oh. it's uh yeah credits to gifx strega everyone End who found this yeah. <laughs> yeah. as i said i picked up really good. i don't honestly know much about it which is why i had legend here to help us out Job well done, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you did the I did the best I could. <laughs> yeah, you did the hard way. <laughs> I just ran it.